Isn't the outcome the Aztecs wanted? However, there is still plenty to celebrate and to be proud of after their historical NCAA tournament run. So joining us now to talk more about last night's game and the season run is former NBA player Jim Brogan. Jim, thanks so much again for joining us. I wish I'd be here under different circumstances. It just bums you out. I know. And it was so close. I mean, really started off great, strong, looking good. You know, as as it went on, it kind of unfolded, but we would we'd have these little runs. We'd get it back to within five, six points, and then here we go again we have like nine minutes of not scoring yeah, so it, the, it was tough the Aztecs put us on the edge of our chairs and what really hurts Lauren is when you go those long periods of time 11 minutes without scoring a bucket that's really taxing on your on you personally and you as a team so they were trying to make up for it along the way and they were fabulous even in the second half they did come back they got it to within five points but still that's such a big hurdle to overcome a team that had been winning all the games by more than double digits. Yeah. So UConn was a formidable offensive team. They're great defensively, but they had so many different parts that could score that the Aztecs just couldn't answer to. Do you think the lack of uh, the points scored, do you think it was fatigue mostly, or do you think it was just UConn playing an exceptional game? It's a great question. It, it, you look at it, Lamont Butner hits one of the all-time greatest shots in San Diego <laughs> State history, and you got to play 36 hours later. You are mentally drained, and you got to pick it up now and go against a team that is winning all their games by double digits. They've got a gentleman who, I mean, Santiago is so good on the low post, they couldn't move him, and he made such a presence out there that it was tough to make a comeback, and they just couldn't get the flow going throughout some parts of the game to make that run to win the game. Well, let's look forward now because <laughs> <laughs> last night's just not fun anymore. Uh, but as, as we look to this team returning next season and we look to what's been built and where we could possibly go now that this bar has been raised, what are you looking to in, in building a team for next year? Because there's quite a few seniors that are going to be gone. Seven of the nine seniors are going to be gone, but what happens is you have two people in Lamont Butler and Micah Parrish will be coming back, and they can set a precedent for the guys. Look, we come in early, we stay late, we're here to win championships, and that's the way it was before. We're here to win the Mountain West Conference Championship, and they did it year after year after year. Now that they've had a taste of the Final Four, now that they've been to the championship game, not just the coaching staff, but having those two players come back, especially Butler hitting the all-time great shot, <laughs> they can really start the atmosphere. They can create the culture of, we're going to win Mountain West championships, but we want to get to March Madness, and we want to win the all-time national championship. It does. It makes a big difference if you have those players coming back because they can maintain the culture that got them where they are today. So as you as you look to this and, and the team returning, what does what does Coach Dutcher say to, to this team today? You know, I mean, obviously last night you're just you commend them for for great work uh, that was left on the field. But but what about today and, and moving forward there? I listened to Dutcher last night. and What he said is he's right. They're a, they're a family that they'll never forget each other for the rest of their lives because they did something on a national basis. He's extremely proud of them, and rightfully so. And what he did and his coaching staff did to get and galvanize guys together to stay together because today's college athletes all across the board, it's so different with NIL deals, the transfer portal. They don't like where they are. They can move. There's flexibility, which is great for them, but it's very difficult to keep a team atmosphere, a team culture when players have mobility. And it goes for women's sports, men's sports. So the dynamic of college basketball, college football, all the sports across the board has changed. So to keep a unit together for three, four years, Dutcher has that ability to do that. And they're now a destination for people right. to come there because of what they've built. They have a reputation. And people want to be around a winning reputation. They want to be a, around a winning program because you only get 48 months of you know, college eligibility. That's it. So if you're a good player, and if you are going to transfer, you want to go to a place where you have the opportunity to win. And Dutcher and his staff have created that. Well, it'll be exciting to look at the transfer portal after, after this. Oh, gosh, yes. I mean, you can pick and choose now because when you get to that Final Four, there are people saying, hey, that's where I want to go. And we're talking San Diego. I mean, you know. Hello. Hello. <laughs>
America's Finest. You I've bet. touched your say it a number of times. Jim, thank you so much, especially for the last couple of weeks joining us. Love it. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Coming up next on Good Morning.